I think a lot is doable, but remember, let's look at the pattern of behavior. From the very first bill, the Democrats held it up because we wanted liability protection for 3M so they could sell masks. The next bill, Pelosi came in and held it up for more than a week when Schumer said he was all ready to go. And then when we had the PPP, the funding for the small businesses, for the employees, she held it up in front of a refrigerator. Every time, the Speaker has been able to hold this up. But let me, let me give you an option that we could actually solve this. The Speaker starts the negotiation with how much money she needs, not what she needs it for. But there's a trillion dollars that's already appropriated that hasn't been outlaid yet, that is sitting there. It's, it's like a credit. It's something you've already spent. Maybe you have a credit on an airline or something. Why don't we utilize that to find the common ground? Why don't we find that to bridge the gap? That is money. That is money that's already appropriated. Save the taxpayer from spending more, but also achieve what you're looking to do. You've got more than $100 billion sitting there for states. You've got more than $100 billion sitting there for small businesses that may need the PPP again. We've got liability protection to protect the schools. We've got the, not only the schools being protected, but funding for the schools to pro provide the security they need so they can open safely for the children and the teachers. So I believe we can find common ground. Let's just take the politics, the number of days before the election out of this, and let's just get in the room and get it done. What did you make of the, the what the president did last weekend in terms of uh, executive orders? It, it, are they, is he able to do that? Is it helpful? Did, there were, there's criticism even from some Republicans. Well, I mean, people rather have the legislative body work, but the legislative body is not going to work if they're going to hold it up. The president had no other options. Does he want to continue these people to, to be unemployed, to not get resources? Think for one moment. Nancy Pelosi, as speaker, is saying that the $15 an hour extra that the federal government's going to pay that will probably get you up on average $24 an hour unemployment where her number two, Steny Hoyer, says, no, that's no red line. The Republicans actually have a good argument about that. She makes that a red line. So the question has to be asked, is she holding it up because she doesn't want it to go forward? And if the president's put into a box, it's smart of him to pick the public over politics. It's smart of him to move forward to put the people ahead of the games that are being played in Washington. It's not something that he wants to do, but think of the position that he is in. And I made, he, he made a tough decision, but I think he made the right decision picking the people over a political process. Yeah, Andrew, Leader, a uh, yeah. question to you. Leader, question to you about perhaps games being played in Washington. Uh, the sure. president made a comment yesterday that he did not support the stimulus uh, that the Democrats uh, had proposed, uh, in large part because he didn't want to fund uh, the U.S. Postal Service, in part because he is against mail-in ballots. Well, What's your reaction to that? Well, let's be clear what the president is saying. The president did not put a veto threat out for it, so he is supportive of making sure the Postal Service has funding. He needs to clarify in the process that the difference between mail-in ballots and absentees. Absentee ballots is where a person applies to, to vote by mail, so you have a check. You know that that is the actual person. We know that there is a lot of fraud if you just mail out ballots to everybody on the rolls, because even in Los Angeles, the courts ordered to clear it up where there was more than a million people who were not alive. You had four people just recently arrested based upon this process as well inside uh, Los Angeles and other areas. We, we see this time and again. You see in your own New York the challenge that you had when you went to all mail-in ballots and one third of them not counting. So what you really want to have is an accuracy uh, in an election. Um, so what I believe, even when you watch what the Democrats offered in their first bill, that that three trillion dollars, it, men it mentioned pot more than it ever mentioned research or jobs. It also tried to change the election process. So you know what? If this is a COVID bill, let's focus on what what the problems with COVID, with jobs, with public safety, and with public health. Those are the things that we should be doing. The politics, let's push that aside.